Miami Modern opened in 2017 and has grown out of the long legacy of the Mendel Art Gallery. Miami Modern is an artist-centered museum where we do ambitious projects with local, national and international artists. We really see Ramey Modern as a gathering place where we can reflect our past, engage with the present, and imagine new futures together through art. Ramey Modern is a stunning purpose-built museum designed by KPMB architects. It offers incredible views of the South Saskatchewan River and ideal viewing conditions for modern and contemporary art. The public spaces of the museum unfold across three floors. We have 11 galleries. The one on the ground floor is free to the public at all times. Up one level, you'll find our collections galleries that showcase the permanent collection of this museum. And then additional spaces on the upper levels usually feature special exhibitions developed by our team or touring in from other museums from across the country or further afield. We have a beautiful learning space on our ground floor and during the week we do lots of programs with school children reaching as many as 20,000 kids in a year and on the weekends we offer art making for all ages in that same studio. Shift Restaurant offers prairie inspired meals and the, arguably the most beautiful patio in Saskatoon. We have an art and design store and a beautiful rooftop patio which offers a 360 view of Saskatoon. The Art and Design Store has a great selection of local and Saskatchewan arts and crafts, as well as design-focused materials from further afield. We also have the Sasktel Theatre, which features films usually on Friday nights and on the weekend, and it's also a space where you can occasionally catch an artist talk or other lectures through the year. We have a particular passion for creating thematic group exhibitions that take an important topic in our community in a particular moment and unfold it through many artists' visions from here and from away to shed new light on something that really matters in our community. We also stage ambitious survey and retrospective exhibitions, giving audience an opportunity to discover an artist in depth. We have a lot of different kinds of programs that we offer at Ramey Modern to help people engage with the art, right from tours, which we have book tours that we do, a lot of school tours every year, but we also have public tours on weekends that are drop-in, you don't have to pre-register for, and they always really help people to understand how to engage with the art. People find that they enjoy their experience a lot better when they've had a little bit of interaction from one of our educators. We have art-making programs, both workshops and regular programming on weekends. On Saturdays, we have our RBC Creative Space, which runs from 10 till 5, and it, it offers uh, art-making that is engaging with the exhibitions that are on, on the exhibit at the time, and they last for sort of seasonal periods of time. And then on Sundays, we have a completely free program called Something on Sundays, Scotiabank Something on Sundays, from 1 to 4, and families can just drop in and make a different art project every Sunday, completely free of charge. We're passionate about connecting audiences with art, and we have an incredible team here that work tirelessly to make artist visions come to life and bring them to the community. We're real believers that art and artists have the ability to help people see things in a new way. And it's an absolute delight to see audiences walk into this museum and have their day changed or their perspective shifted just a little bit. We have been in conversation about engaging rural youth and youth that has, or actually any kind of school programs or, or communities that have trouble getting to the museum. But COVID kind of pushed the envelope for us. So we got together with the McKenzie who had been doing their own form of virtual programming. We'd been doing our own form of virtual programming and realizing that together we could have uh, access to a lot, so, lot more brains working around virtual education in an art gallery setting and outside of an art gallery setting and we knew that between the, the two organizations, the experience level we had was pretty high and thought we could come up with a, a pretty good product uh, to offer to not just those who are unable to get here because of distance, but those that are not quite comfortable coming yet because of COVID. 
We hope there's a couple of things that people will take away from the virtual tour experience. First of all, we hope that it will bring people to the Mackenzie and to Remy Modern and eventually when COVID lifts and the restrictions lift and they're more comfortable coming back again. But we also want to make sure that people become familiar with the kinds of works that each museum has in their collection. And as I said, particularly highlight the Indigenous works in our collection because we have a lot of great works by Indigenous artists that people don't know about. And it's one of the things that we really want to focus on as we move forward into the future is our Indigenous community and uh, highlighting and, and focusing on Indigenous artists and their work. We have a lot of work by Indigenous artists on view right now. The exhibition space that I'm sitting in at the moment actually, uh, this, is, this is a show called A Tauchikin, and it features a lot of work by Inuit artists from our collection that have been in the collection for a long time from the Mendel Art Gallery days, as well as contemporary Inuit artists that are working today and seeing how they've changed with the expectations and stereotypes we have around Inuit art and Inuit artists. Uh, to see that the kind, the kind of work they're doing now is very contemporary and really engaging with the communities today. We also have an exhibition on view by the art collective Post Commodity that's from the US and their focus is completely on an indigenous way of seeing, particularly with regard to the medicine wheel and looking at environmental issues. And it's very, very engaging as well. The post-commodity exhibition actually transformed a large part of our museum right through the interstitial or the spaces in between the galleries as well as several gallery spaces. The work is massive in scale and quite impactful when you engage with it. The ideas are big ideas as well and they've used really big ways of, of speaking about them with their art. Kapluziak and Missy LeBlanc two young Indigenous curators. They have worked with our collection of Inuit art and a number of artists connected to Treaty 6 to reimagine those collection artworks through the lens of kinship ties and ties to the land rather than through traditional colonial or historical lenses. So they're helping us to reframe how we understand art for now and for the future. My favorite part of my job is helping people to understand the value, benefits, and importance of art as part of their daily lives. Anything that can make them feel that they have made some kind of a connection when they're at the museum or dealing with any of the art that we have here, and it's enhanced their lives and their understanding of what life is all about, we've done our jobs well. Are you an artist who's interested in appearing on Max TV Local? Email us at max.local at sastel.com.